I never heard you come in, mate. Uh, just look at this bone saddle. I showed this to you the other day. Took it up in the shop and cut the end off of it. Here's the original saddle. And there's the bone one. And I left it a little bit wide. This way. And right now I need to work that side and round it out. So it'll fit down in the, the bridge slot. Right now it's too wide this way to fit down in the bridge slot. So I'm going to work it down to this size. And uh, then I'll bring you back. We, the radius on this saddle is completely wrong. And I forgot to even mention that on that nut I made. Uh, the guitar has a 12 inch radius. So I made that nut with a 12 inch radius in it. And I'm going to make the saddle with a 12 inch radius. Now most people would just uh, cut the saddle down to fit and get it to go in the slot and call it, you know, and let it go with that. Well, I don't do that. I like to keep the radius all the way down, you know, to match the neck, whatever the neck is. Uh, some of them change as they come down the neck. Some of them are the same all the way down. I like to, you know, stick with that, stay as close to whatever the neck is as I can. So in this case, it's a 12 inch. I'm going to, uh, like I said, work this side down first, then I'll bring you back and show you how we're going to get the radius in that thing. inch uh, radius block. And, and all I'm going to do is just very lightly start sanding on the, the top of the saddle. And you can see here what's touching the saddle and what's not. Now we want all of this to touch, make contact with the saddle, not just the sides. So now that we have a 12 inch radius in the saddle, uh, you can see, you know, if the camera will focus on it, you can see how, maybe you can see how round that is on top. It's not just flat across the top, it's got a curvature to it, intentional curvature. And if you notice, I took off of the top of the saddle first. Now, I haven't taken anything at all off the bottom of this thing yet. Uh, I'm going to, but I was saving that to, you know, to be able to set the action and remove material from the bottom of the saddle to get the action right. So I didn't want to take uh, anything off of the bottom until we get ready to do that. We're not going to do that right now. Right now, if the saddle is ready, I want to give these frets a little bit more attention. Uh, all I'm going to do, all I'm told to do, is uh, put in a bone nut and a bone saddle on the general setup. But I want to polish the frets up at least a little bit with this rubbing compound. And oil the board. The board looks really dry. We've still got to glue the nut in, too. That's another thing I'll do really quick here. Soon. Very soon. Like right now. Now the next guy that comes along that needs to knock that nut out, you know, it won't break off or chip or it be any hazard happenings. <laughs> it will go along quite nicely. Well, I polished down to and including the tenth fret. This is the last fret I polished. I don't know if you can see that difference in these frets. The shininess of them. And the frets from here down. Haven't touched those yet. There's the ones I did. And I didn't notice until now, after I polished them, just how rough those frets are. The second, let's see where we are, second, third, fourth, and fifth frets in this lower side on each one of those. Somebody has filed the shit out of those, and it's, oh man, if I can get you a shot, maybe, maybe you can see how rough that is. I don't know if the camera will get this or not, but they are roughed up, man. And I used to fix, when somebody used to bring me instruments, I would fix everything I seen wrong with it. And I quickly learned, well, not quickly, but I learned, only fix what the customer tells you to fix. Some of the frets are, the ends of them look like that. Some of the ends look like that. <laughs> It's just a really crappy, like I say, you know, 
the kid brought his guitar in one day and I don't remember what I did to it. This was years ago. I fixed everything he wanted fixed and it had a a neck in it, like right in here. It was an electric guitar. And I steamed it out and I sanded it down, flattened it, and you couldn't even tell there was ever a neck in there. He came back and picked the guitar up and I said, man, I fixed that little neck and I thought the guy was going to shit. Oh, dude, he said, my grandpa put that neck in there, you know, and you couldn't even see it anymore. The neck, the dent meant something to the kid. I should have left it alone. He didn't tell me to fix that. Here comes Ronnie. Woo! Look at him off. Get him. Here comes Ronnie. Woo! At the house that never sleeps, folks. Let me show you one more time. These are the frets at the down at the sound hole. Now I can make every fret on this guitar look like that. That's the way they should look. But check this out. See how round and crowned they are? Look at that 14th fret at the body joint. That one right there. Look at that compared to the next one down. What they've done. There's not even a crown there, man. It's flat and it's scratchy and just shitty and a terrible job. Look how rough that is. And every fret's that way from here. Look at that. This is what I was trying to get to show up a few minutes ago. I couldn't see this stuff until I polished the frets. Man, it's pronounced now. <laughs> the first fret, let's see. There's the nut. First fret isn't too bad. It's bad enough, but compared to, look at that. That's the second fret. Eight, nine, the boys, what Mark is talking about. Ten, throw them bones on. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. That's where it was buzzing out because they had the nut action so low. And then so much neck relief in it, you know. Terrible setup, man. One last look at the frets and the board. Look at that board, man. What that oil does. Holy cow, that looks like a brand new, clean fret board. Okay, got the new saddle in. Got it strung up, tuned up. I still, these are still the old strings. And I broke the third, but uh, we're just going to check the, the uh, nut action here again and there you have it if you can see that I think you can see it okay 18 thousandths on the money man it's perfect this uh, first string is a little bit less than 18 second one the same but it's, it's as it should be because like I say I went with the radius kept the radius from the nut to the saddle the same as it is on the bridge which is 12 inches all the way down uh, I want to check the neck relief again. As I said before, you got to many, check the neck relief. Many, many times. And that probably won't be enough. Because all that stuff can change, baby. I mean, you know, you got to really keep an eye on it until you get the setup complete. And, you know, once it settles down for a day or two, it probably is going to stay the same. For a very long time. Uh, what am I looking for? Twelve thousandths. Here we go. Seventeenth fret. Seventh, eighth, and ninth. Check that out. Well, I'm glad we didn't have to tighten that truss anymore, man. Because I know I've turned the thing a good three quarters of a turn, and. Uh, It was really getting tight. I wouldn't want to go any more than that with it. Look at that. Perfect. So the nut action's okay now, and the neck relief is okay now. Now comes the action fun part. I did this on so many videos, man. I feel like I'm repeating myself. Let's measure the action in thousands for right now, okay? 
Uh, reason being, so I can it'll make it easier for me to explain to you. Uh, one method of doing this, as I said before, there are many, but uh, this is one of the many ways to do it. And we are at one hundred thousandths base string at the twelfth fret. One hundred thousandths. And sixty thousandths on the high E at the twelfth fret. One hundred thousandths and sixty thousandths. Like to see that roughly around eighty thousandths instead of a hundred right here. It's exactly dead on the money, one hundred. We'd like to see about eighty thousandths. That's what our action is going to be when we get this twelfth fret down to eighty thousandths. It's roughly around three thirty seconds to five sixty fourths, okay? Now, the trick here, the easiest way I've found to do this, and I've told you all this before, but for the newcomers maybe you didn't you didn't get to see those videos, so I'll say it again. If you want to drop this well, in this case, we want to drop it, uh, it's a hundred thousandths, we want to drop it down to eighty. So that's twenty thousandths difference, okay? Back here at the saddle, I have to mark off double that amount. I've got to take forty thousandths off of the bottom of the saddle. That way we'll keep our radius and only be lowering the saddle. I take these strings loose again, man. I'm, and by the way, I did oil the, uh, the bridge back here, too. So that's done. It's oiled. Uh, but yeah, we have a hundred thousandths here. We want to drop that 20 to get down to 80. So that means we got to take 40, double the amount of what we want to drop it off of the saddle, which will be 40 thousandths. So let me get my, uh, get everything together here and I'll do it and bring you back. By the way, that 60 thousandths on the on the, six, or the first, the high E at the 12th fret, it reads 60 thousandths. We're going to, it'll drop 22. It'll come down to 40 or thereabouts. It, the whole thing will drop accordingly. If we just flatten the bottom of the saddle, you know, everything will be okay. Everything's going to be okay, I promise. Take my word for it. <laughs> so, okay. Let's do it. Hopefully you'll be able to see this. I'm down in the floor. I got my back turned toward the camera. But hopefully this will all make sense. The way you mark that, I have 40 thousandths worth of uh, feelers gauge here. Okay? I'm just going to hold that down flat on the table. As flat as I can. I'm going to hold half of it flat. Stand up the saddle beside of it. And mark it. And there's our mark. It's not all the way across, but I want to concentrate on this side of it because that's the side that's accurate, most accurate. This method has never failed. It works every time. I'll put it on a sander or get a piece of sandpaper out here and give it this number. It works every time, man. Just watch and see. <laughs> What I'll do is put uh, the saddle in a vise and let the uh, part of the saddle that I want to remove stick up out of the vise and use this or some kind of sander, sand it down to the vise and then uh, we're there. In this case I made these uh, vise grips a long time ago and I can hold the saddle in the vise grips and let only the amount stick out that I want removed right down to our mark. When I get down to that, I'll know we're there. You can see what little bit we like. Uh, but these things are worth their weight in gold, baby. Whoo! I'll tell you. So I got it strung back up. The old strings again. Um, took 40 thousandths off of this, the bone saddle. And we should read around 60 thousandths here now. Or 80 thousandths, I mean. And uh, we are dead on the money, man. I mean, it's 
Oh God, I wish you could see that. It's 80 thousandths perfectly. That bottom string was 60 thousandths. It should be 40 and it is. <laughs> that works every time, man. If you remember to do your guitars that way, you know, you can't hardly mess it up. The boys with Mark is talking about. 10. Throw them bows, son. 11. 12. 13. 14. 15. 16. It's about 664, so it looks like. On the high, e, the low E, 12 fret, 4, 5, 6. 664 is pushing it. And 464 is on the high E. That's what I was talking about. See, if you just flatten the bottom of the saddle, once you get your radius right on the saddle and the nut, uh, you know, a few minutes ago, the bottom high E was reading uh, 60 thousandths. And the top one was 100 thousandths. Now, the top one is... Uh, 80 thousandths and the bottom one was what did I say 40 thousandths uh, can't remember yeah 40 thousandths now that's what I was talking about you know dropping everything uh, together 664 so just slightly under that but higher than 5 on the low E and the high E is 464 Two thirty seconds or one sixteenth, however you want to look at it. So I guess now I got it just a tiny bit tuned, tiny bit sharp because we don't have no third string. That third string is going to add a little bit more tension on there, and you know it's going to make a little more neck relief with nut action. We'll have to check all that stuff again. So we ain't done yet. Hold on. Okay, so we are on the final stretch, folks. I put the new strings on it. Tuned it up. Uh, we gotta check all this shit again, yet one more time. Maybe more times than one. Who knows? Let me find uh, my 18 here. We'll check the nut action first. 10 and an 8. We'll do it. I think you, yeah, you can see that okay. And you can looky there. It's we have 11 thousandths nut action with the third string on it. I was a little worried that third string might pull more relief into the neck. We'll find out right now. And now I need a uh, 12 thou. 12 thousand. 17th fret. 7. 8. And nine in that general area and you can see that's just about as perfect as check the fifth string Maybe a little close on it if any one of those three frets that eighth frets very close uh, let's see I'm lost man six there's a seven that's a little bit tight right there. It goes in there. That's an eighth. There's a ninth. Yeah. At the seventh fret, it's twelve thousandths exactly in the sixth. So I'm going to run with that. I'll leave that alone. If it ain't broke, don't try to fix it. Now we know the nut is. 12 inch radius because I made it a 12 inch radius but we want to check this our saddle work and check that out well I don't know if the camera will get I'm not going to pick the menu up here where you can see it look at that 12 inch I don't know if you can see that yet or not can you 12 inch radius exactly coming off of that saddle that is perfect man exactly what we wanted I forgot to mention I already checked the uh, I had my phone here had the tuner on it laid it underneath the thing you can't even see that but anyways I checked the uh, intonation and it's right on the money uh, 
I've got videos telling you and showing you how to file this saddle, which side to file from and where the braking angle should be, which side of the uh, the brake uh, point the string should be on to, you know, increase the string scale or decrease it. a lot better than it was but it's not uh, it ain't perfect yet and there's no way to get it perfect but those uh, every fret man uh, every single one of them down to the 14th fret I showed it to you are ruined they can be saved they can be fixed if the guy wants to spend another 80 bucks or so Sounds good too. It sounds pretty good, I think. practice big time plus I'm not used to this thing but there you have it folks I'll give you a close-up as close as I can get here's what the new bone saddle looks like I think it turned out pretty good shot of the back of it can you see that can't you see it <laughs> there we go uh, and the nut, we already seen that, but it's as close as it's going to get for what I'm told to do. I can't do anything else to it. I'd like to get some of these other little uh, buzzes out of it. So uh, I can't believe some of you guys thought this guitar was ugly. Ugly, baby. I think it's a gorgeous wood, beautiful wood on the back and sides. Anyways, thank you guys for hanging with me. I hope someone picked up a few tips they can uh, maybe apply to their own guitars if need be uh, you may see this thing again I don't know when a guy plays it he may say take it back and do the frets on it uh, who knows but if he does you'll see it again Pro probably I got some other ones here I need to get on the chopping block and get done 
But uh, thank you all for staying with me through this. Uh, well, it was being three videos, something like that. Bone saddle, bone nut. Change the uh, neck relief. Change the nut action. Change the string action. Um, general setup. Did uh, basically nothing to the frets. So that's pretty much all I can think of right now. Adjusted the neck relief. I think I said that. Checked all the tuners, the tuning machines. Made sure they were tight. And they're all good. So thank you guys and gals again. And I will see you on the next one. Cheers to you. Peace. Finish that! Finish that! Quick!